Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and welcome back to another speed build episode of Malin Zoo. And this time I have a very special guest. I am joined by the amazing Mike Sheets. Hello. Hello, I'm special. Yes, you're very special. And for those that have- Oh, this looks familiar. Oh yeah, it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> for those that uh, have been following me uh, during Planet Costa, I have had you on for one episode, I think, together with Mass Bandit. <laughs> And it was some kind of spooky yeah. episode, right? We had we are actually on two episodes, and uh, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it was so. And much I, fun. I revealed something that you had to cut out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Now you mentioned that. That's true, but I have no idea anymore what it was. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. That, that fell right into I view. I remember. <laughs> no, but uh, it was a lot of fun having you on, and this was actually not even planned. Um, <laughs> I was watching a video of yours called, I think it was Bo Botanic Gardens in Planet Zoo, right? Mm -hmm. Planet Botanic. Planet Botanic. I love the name. <laughs> and I was commenting like, oh my god, this is so awesome, Mike. I love it. And you were just texting me like, would Malin Zoo maybe like a botanic garden or anything like that, right? Yeah, a, li a, a little bit, a little bit of what I'm doing um, in in this particular zoo, I thought would be pretty cool because it is a. I mean, the the domes are really beautiful in this in this zoo, and I really like the uh, the giant panda exhibit. Ah, oh, thank you. I I really uh, feel like with every habitat. Do you feel this? Uh, did you build any habitats though? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> good that I asked. <laughs> because with most of my buildings, I feel like I should start with the habitat first to see how much space I need. But mm -hmm. every time I start building the walls first or like a dome first, and then I end up like, oh, it's way too small. Shoot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, that's just a learning curve. But a lot of you guys are watching this video and this is not really how it looks because Mike uh, got my part <laughs> and he was basically saying like yeah I'm gonna make a botanic garden and I was like I'm gonna send you my park so you can see where you maybe want to add something and you were like oh my gosh I want to build in the Japanese macaque area am I allowed to and I was like yeah sure go ahead <laughs> go ahead do whatever you want to do and I'm just super Those were excited. the famous last words. <laughs> yes. You have total freedom. And I was like, ooh, did I really say that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I am. I still haven't seen what you have done. We're going to look at that live together at the end of this video. And it, Yeah, you have amazing control. Uh, I do? <laughs> yeah, because because if I if I was working in the in the zoo cuz you you had been you had been working in like the uh the animal enclosure the hippo one right Yeah 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 I have been finishing off that one indeed I would have I it would have been really hard for me to to not look over cuz it I mean like I said I, I did pretty much the whole south of the zoo <laughs> <laughs> You'll see I'm so curious what you've done <laughs> Maybe I don't like it then what <laughs> Oh, well, then you're stuck. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I love your work. I love the work you did in Planet Coaster. Are you still playing Planet Coaster or are you like totally Planet I, Zoo? I, well, I will once once the, the hype dies down of, of Planet Zoo a little bit because it it's fun to build in this game again or in the series again. Uh -huh. But it feels so much more beautiful in some kind of way, like the lighting and stuff. It's so different. Mm -hmm. And the items, I love the items. I was going to say, the reason why it might feel like it's much easier to build uh, and fill up Planet Zoo is because the items are just a lot more well curated. Yeah. Um, because it's a lot of these pieces are just beautiful. And even though we only have about four themes, really. Um, they're six? they're all really well fleshed out. Six? Yeah, I think six. <laughs> That's how much I know. <laughs> but it's more like generic themes. Like I think one is just called Planet Coaster. Mm -hmm. And Planet Zoo. Uh, and planets. Oh, planets. <laughs> Did I say Planet Coaster? <laughs> no. Planet Coaster DLC for yeah. Planet Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there should be six themes in here. But what you said, like the items are just so good and so 
well made and mm -hmm. especially the glass items like everyone is using the glass oh it's it's incredible i know Rem remember when uh frontier used to say oh yeah no we can't do glass oh, it's, yeah. gonna, it's gonna blow <laughs> up your your computers like yeah just one one small uh piece of glass like in different sizes <laughs> and, and they were yes. like yeah don't add too many don't add too many uh -huh. because it's not good for your for your uh for the game and now we're like using glass everywhere and yeah so, so what many. do you do immediately you build a giant glass dome and then and then multiply <laughs> it three times yep that's me yeah the only <laughs> i love the glass but the only downside is just the shadows like mm -hmm. but we can't do anything about it like the exact piece we only had in planet coaster that glass piece without any edges we don't have it in planet mm -hmm. zoo so you can't build not a glass yet. dome without having shadows it's just not possible yeah uh, so yeah i really hope that something like that will be added in a later stage to planet <laughs> zoo so we can have domes without those annoying shadows uh, but still it uh, it works it's it's shadows it's it's real life you have shadows of windows so mm -hmm. it makes sense right yeah there's got to be there's got to be a structure that holds all that glass in. yeah definitely your your dome actually reminds me of a project they're doing in dubai um, really? which they have built this this like canopy of light type structure mm -hmm. uh, and the way that the light comes in it comes in with with beams and stuff like that or forest of light i think is what it's called oh my i'm gonna look that up that sounds so cool I have a lot of people saying like, oh my god, you have this dome from, I think it's some kind of Denmark zoo or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, no, I just love to build domes. Like, I think also in an episode <laughs> you were in, in Planet Coaster, wasn't that with like the chess area in Toysland? Yes. Yeah, see, that was also a dome. <laughs> <laughs> and in my Christmas village, I also, that's probably the first dome I've built in my Christmas village. And I just love to create domes because they're just... They can be so gorgeous and mm -hmm. definitely in Planet Zoo when you have like the rain falling down or the snow. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Yeah, it's very pretty. Uh, I love it. I love it. But what are you... Uh, did you play with any animals so far then in Planet Zoo? <laughs> like testing it? Like not maybe not uploading for your <laughs> YouTube channel, but... Pretty much the first time I have worked with animals was because of this Japanese macaque exhibit. And... <gasps> oh, really? <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> it is, it is a, it is, it's a challenge. Oh yeah, oh yeah, but the Japanese macaques are pretty, well, I don't know, I'm, I had a lot of boxing during the early access I had, <laughs> Yeah. but I don't know if it's still really the case, like, it sometimes happens, but I think it's not that bad anymore like it was. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten this exhibit to be pretty stable, so sometimes they get hungry, sometimes they get starving, but they don't seem to box up anymore. Oh, wow, well, now that's perfect. And yeah. you didn't mess up anything in their habitat. <laughs> I actually I did, but I fixed it. <laughs> oh. When I was when I was working on paths, I actually accidentally broke the path that uh, makes access to the the mechanic and the the vet and the the zookeeper. Uh huh. And so eventually, I had this like big old uh, red flashing light come up. The, all the alerts that come up, like, <laughs> oh, this exhibit is falling apart. Yeah, like, yeah. what? <laughs> what did I do? Oh my goodness. So basically. I have still have no idea. I'm so excited to see what you've made. <laughs> but basically, like, the outside of this whole snowy area, you did something with the bridge, right? You did something with, like, a viewing gallery or anything? Can you give me a sneak peek yeah. idea? So, <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I started this, I, I noticed that the paths were way far away, so I wanted to get them closer. Yeah. Um... And that worked for a time until I actually unpaused the, the game and the bacac started like jumping out and I'm like, ah, crap. But I did- a Like almost finished. Oh no, this doesn't work. Yeah, exactly. But I did a little research and I learned that the macaques are from Northern Honshu in Japan, uh -huh. which is the, the, not the northernmost island, but I think it's the third northern or the second northernmost island. Yeah. And so I, I did a little uh, Google search of some images and stuff like that and tried to get the feel of Northern Honshu. And um, so that's what I hope I have uh, have accomplished. That's why you see that you've seen that bridge. Now, the, the one that you've seen is not the is not the bridge for the macaque exhibit, but you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. You'll, you'll see soon enough. Oh, I'm so excited to see it. Like <laughs> it's something you, you just mentioned. Like I noticed that 
watching Sylv, for example, you also follow Sylv Red, obviously. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> we <absolutely>. all do. <laughs> And watching Sylvan, the last episode, well, the episode he did with the Japanese macaque one, I, I was laughing so hard about him being like, oh yeah, and another fun fact, <laughs> they also make snowballs and they roll them down and it was like <laughs> so funny. But those kind of things, I definitely should do that. But in my hype, I'm like, oh, I'm going to build something really beautiful. And I just, every time, I just keep forgetting like, Maybe I should learn a little bit of the animals where they're coming <laughs> from. Maybe read the Zoopedia every once in a while. So something like that I should definitely do. Or I just need to watch you guys, uh, your videos on your channels. Because you were talking about the uh, your latest video about how you made those gardens and stuff. Like, you really know a lot about it. You really try to learn mm -hmm. of how those things work and stuff and i found that really interesting and i really like that you give more information than me just like hey look at me i'm just placing down <laughs> a platform <laughs> you know what i mean well thank you um yeah i, I work for a fairly high-end nursery with some demanding clients and sometimes they they trust you to kind of uh pull some plant material together and design a bed mm -hmm. and so i've I've gotten used to how to kind of isolate the customer's need and then turn that into something so there's a lot of like design principles that go with it because i am a graphic design major um but you can I don't tell. use it very you often can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no but seriously like for everyone that is watching and and have no idea who mike sheets is now obviously we're gonna see what he can do in Planet Zoo, but oh, you're like be so... what I said, your your Planet Coaster <laughs> creations and what you've uploaded are uh, of Planet Zoo. Even though you haven't really been making habitats, mm -hmm. but it's so super inspiring. So seriously, I would highly recommend everyone to check out Mike his channel because I will link it obviously in the description because it's it's really amazing work and you together with mass bandit you you both do incredible work <laughs> yeah you work together a lot of times you do a lot of collaborations right mm -hmm. so it definitely i i highly recommend everyone to to go to mike's channel and enjoy everything that is there but obviously i will say this a hundred times <laughs> <laughs> during this video because oh, i'm so excited you can't imagine how excited i am you you just mentioned like it was uh, that you're so proud of me that i didn't have any peak while i was building in the hippo habitat and uh it was so hard to not peak and i told you like how i <laughs> put down the the camera like all the way to the uh -huh. floor and then when the japanese macaque was boxed i could not see any surroundings unless i just <laughs> i just clicked the japanese macaque and then i went over the floor to the animal so i could not see anything and i still haven't and i'm so excited to see it <laughs> Well, the good news is a lot of what you're seeing right now, uh, the playground and stuff like that, is is pretty much intact. Oh, I hope so, because I'm so proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> the macaques were, were really using it. I don't know if they're using the uh, like the pads, but they're definitely using the ropes and the logs and stuff like that. You mean the rock pads you see in the background? No. Or your pad? The, the wooden... No, the wooden the wooden pads that you had, so you've got like the, the log, and then you've got a little log that comes out, and then a pad. And then a log that comes out in a pad. Uh, if I'm right, they pretty much use everything. I have been looking mm. at them for a long time. And if I'm right, they should be using everything. But it doesn't really matter. It just looks really cool. And I really <laughs> liked how it turned out. Like one of my first a little bit more creative structures. And um, I, I don't know. I just really think it works with like the very big, thick poles. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I really, really like that. But um, we are out of uh, footage right now of the speed build. May I now finally look, Mike? <laughs> you can now look, can yes. <laughs> All the way around it because I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Forget where the entrance is. Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, people. This is like super uh, unprepared comparing to like cinematic shots. But we're going to do This is like when it. the gates of Jurassic Park open. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, did you really? Oh my gosh, yeah. okay. Oh my goodness. You can see all the benches that people have tipped <gasps> over to. <laughs> you were telling that, so many vandalism. 
Oh my goodness, but that sign is so cool! <laughs> Holy cow, that's beautiful! Wait, do we have these? Uh-huh. What? Are these other letter signs that I don't know of? They are, um... Oh wait, those are just signs! They're just the signs <gasps> turned, yeah, with one letter. Holy cow! Oh my god, I love this! This is so cool! <laughs> oh, we just- we haven't even started yet, and this is already amazing! <laughs> you see, guys? This- this is what I mean! It's so beautiful! Oh, and you see the dome in the back, indeed. <gasps> yeah. Holy cow, oh my god. Wanted to preserve that view because it's so important. <gasps> Oh, I don't know what to say. This is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cute. How did you got water in? A little, yeah, a little water garden. Um, I hid a fountain, uh, like a bowl or <gasps> oh. something like that in there. Oh, that's so smart. Oh my goodness. What is that? Those are broken <laughs> <laughs> trash cans. You, you may, you may want to replace a few of these things before we <laughs> go through. <laughs> Because vandalism is I was like, is what still, is that? Uh, How is... Who? <laughs> These things to sit on or what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm. I go, ah, bleh, I <laughs> this is so cool. I haven't even noticed these statues yet. That is so awesome. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I am. Oh, I'm. Oh, do I need to go right or left? I mean, I'm just going to let you decide. Oh my goodness. Entrance here. Well, that's the entrance, so this is the site we should go. Oh my god. It would be nice if you could actually direct people through exhibits, but as far as I know, you can't do that. Mm, no, but that could be something they will add in a later stage because... Oh, that'd be nice. You remember those sites? We don't... I don't think we have that in Planet Zoo right now, but in Planet Coaster you could, like, uh, get a... What was it called again? A focus point? Not a focus point, but like an, a real advertising oh, for the sign. Uh huh. And then it would like lead to a shop or to like mm -hmm. uh, a ride. And I don't think we have that right now. Is it like a destination advertisement destination? Yeah. Uh, 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 what the heck was it called? Um, I, a visitor point or something like that? I think a vista. No, that was a vista point where the people would look at it. But the signs had oh, like, if oh, you oh. have like an empty area in your park, then you could say like, oh, this sign is pointing, mm -hmm. is leading the people to a ride on the other side of the park and then it would lead to more people going there something like that i think it was called set advertised des destination yeah, something like that may i just say that i really mm -hmm. love the use of this i <laughs> i've seen these signs and i used one in my hippo habitat and i'm like i don't know how to use them i don't know <laughs> one of these things but this is just really simple but super cool i really love this i assumed you were gonna have an elephant in here somewhere i hope so that's why that would be chose, really cool that's why i chose the <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this already. And we're now going in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so pretty. <gasps> oh, I love this. I love the rock work. It's so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot the name of the signs. Um, conservation, mm -hmm. education signs. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, this is my... Oh, you put down all kinds of rocks. Cool. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Oh, you have glass. <laughs> it's that because yeah, they that were was for jumping. The jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm freaking out. This is so beautiful. Oh wait, seriously? Yeah. They have another platform over here to look at them. Oh my goodness! And sometimes they actually do use it. If you unpause the game, sometimes the pathfinding actually brings people up there, which is really cool. I'm a little bit afraid to to get frame rate issues. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, oh, but that's so cool. That's why I keep it on pause. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's a little bit like shaky, shaky. I'm very sorry for that. But, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. And so now when you walk up there, you can see the dome over the, <gasps> over the macaque exhibit. Oh, I love that. That's such a cool viewing. Oh, that's a, those are my domes though. But I really like that you paid attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this rock work here? Mm -hmm. That is so beautiful. So that was meant to be, so when you kind of enter the exhibit, it feels like that that rock is a lot taller than it actually is. And it's meant to look like those big uh, towers of rock that have like pines on them and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So I, I included some forced perspective to make it look like it's in the distance. That's 
awesome. You see those kind of things. It's so inspiring. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so beautiful, Mike. I'm so happy I gave you my park. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is like... But I, I like that. Like It's the same one we're going to do um, Koala Zoo with uh, Rudy and Syl. Mm -hmm. And I honestly say, Syl, you make the entrance because... If you set the tone for like the theme we're going for, I can use that exactly. for like my inspiration for the rest of the zoo. And I really love this because I know that I am going to use this a lot as inspiration for in my zoo. And I, I'm really thankful for that because I, I really, really love how you just, oh, it's so beautiful. Like you use f flat rocks here uh -huh. and then you put like plants in between. Mm -hmm. So it's meant to look like really mossy and because when I looked at pictures of Northern Honshu, it's just green. There's a lot of green. That is so cool. And, you and then that's supposed to be like a little trickler. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. And then this building. Oh my goodness. Can people seriously... <gasps> Mike, this is so cool. <laughs> God, I'm so happy that I didn't peek because the first reaction is is oh, <laughs> me bl being blown away and I could never re replicate that. This is so good. This is so beautiful. Holy cow. Ah, oh, I love this. How you did like put those signs in here. Why is Kermit here? I don't know because we have a limited <laughs> amount of signs. <laughs> but yeah, people can walk so right up to the glass. Nice. And the, what's cool is the macaques sometimes start using that ramp or that uh, that runway. Yeah. And and then I've also got a block of ice with fruit there, so that you you oh. get to see the macaques quite a bit. That's so beautiful. It's so awesome. And then it can stand here. Oh wow! Oh my goodness, that bridge! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, there's, there's so much to see in here. Let me let me just take a peek from here. This is so beautiful, people! Oh my goodness! I keep forgetting that I'm recording. Like, <gasps> <laughs> oh, and you added like those V of axes in the water here. Is that the mm -hmm. river rapid one? That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, it's the river foam, so it looks like the 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 water is actually running. Oh my goodness! And that bridge too. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I don't know where to go. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, how many hours did it, this is uh, how many hours did I, this take you? I, I cranked on it. it. This was this was the first time that I actually got to play the zoo instead of um, instead of designing something a little more strict. So I I many long nights. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you're going to upload uh, the the creating of this on your channel, right? Mm -hmm. it, is, it, yeah, it is I, probably already up when I upload yes. this video. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> but if you want to see like the reasons why why I started and in kind of the the four areas that I that I called out, um, then that's that's what that video is for. Shall I do it again? What is this? Oh, it's a bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do that. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! You did so much. I am going to ch check this out at the end. Uh, from above, but all oh, this bridge. Do we have these pieces? Yeah, we do. Seriously? <laughs> I did not even see them yet. There are so many new pieces. It's, it's like impossible to see everything. This is so beautiful. Did you raise it? Or is it the same height and did you lower the terrain? So the the bridge was, was um, changed quite a bit. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> because I wanted it, I wanted it to be uh at about a three three degree angle so that people when they're walking up it, it looks a little bit more realistic than the the big slopes that we get you know normally in plan co uh -huh. or plan zoo plan <laughs> see zoo, i did it yeah. too <laughs> um so there are so this is designed in a way if you actually go up into the sky this is designed to get people to the dome as quickly as possible wow. so there are there are you different did paths more? to take <laughs> <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Holy cow! This is so beautiful. Is this did what did you, you made these custom, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my god! There's a lot of copy pasting incoming. I feel it. I feel it. 
I felt I felt like that was very male and zoo, this this kind of naturalized oh, path here. This is so beautiful. I love it. I I oh my god, more paths. <laughs> oh my goodness. And there's another little bridge here. And that one is uh -huh. so cute. And that one is really cool because you can just copy paste that wherever you want. <gasps> that one is all all intact. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Mike, I love it. I love it so much. You did so much work in here. <laughs> it's nuts. It's seriously nuts. I love it so much. Oh my god, I can't believe that I did not see anything you did. I'm surprised you didn't see anything because it's cow. like it takes up quite a bit of room. Holy cow, I feel like I'm just walking in someone else's park. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't the intention. No, but I mean, it's so big. Like, it's so beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> okay, there's another bridge I really want to check out here. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. And that view from here. Are... It's funny, people sometimes just stop on the bridge and look at uh, the macaque exhibit. Ah, I believe so. I would do the same. <laughs> uh, it's so beautiful. And also just a view of here. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe it. It's so good. It's even more than I ever expected. <laughs> and, and levels already high, don't get me wrong. My <laughs> standards were already high. So yeah, high. If, you, if, you, if I had screwed up, then uh, oh man, this would have been an awkward video. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay so um wow i'm just really amazed by this <laughs> i'm so amazed and actually did i yeah the lighting is pretty good right it's not like you intended it to be like differently i mean you can check the you can check the bridge lighting if you <gasps> turn it tonight there's some lighting oh, no, in, the, you did in the zoo <laughs> yes i did oh I, oh my goodness i want to make it like almost night like oh, but nighttime is so beautiful isn't it with the stars it is in this game yeah it probably there's i don't think there's any lighting in the macaque oh exhibit. not oh okay oh because oh. i figured the, the the exhibits would close by that time so good point very good point oh the lighting is so good this is so beautiful the signs look so much better by the way in than in planet coaster the letters. So much better. Oh my Just the textures and the, the metal looks so good in this game. It's such a difference. Holy cow. Oh, it's so beautiful, Mike. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you want to build more, my partner? <laughs> you want to build my mailing suit? I have to do some other things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This is absolutely stunning. This lighting! The lighting is so freaking good oh, in this game. Oh my gosh. It's so easy to make things look really, really well lit, flat lit, and uh, and even the spotlights look really good too. Oh my goodness. Oh, I I wanna I wanna see some Oh, that's really bright. The the bloom's a little harsh when you come yeah, out the of night. Whew, that hurt my eyes. Um <laughs> so yeah, basically, um oh you also did over here that's so cool yeah to make the exhibit kind of feel uh, a little bit more enclosed yeah that's so beautiful so well thought of okay so i see you deleted this section this i had inside and i have mm -hmm. to do a lot of decorating still here but i now yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i'm feeling so inspired to continue doing this i mean i still have to do like a lot of stuff inside here mm -hmm. but oh boy i could basically just remove it because this is probably already a shelter enough but we don't want to it kind of is yeah yeah but but you have a facade now that at least helps kind of frame out the whole the whole zoo oh my goodness just look what you've did you've done <laughs> <gasps> holy cow that's even more than i did almost <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I got a little carried away. Oh, but it, that's cool. It's better than that than like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. <laughs> right? I mean, oh Mike, I'm so happy. I am so happy you've made this. And this is, oh, I'm so thankful. 
if I if I if I can do anything bad for you, for you <laughs> I mean I'm I'm not that creative like I can build in your botanic gardens but I don't know if you want that <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it I don't have it well built enough to to, to add <laughs> if you want me to add some animals <laughs> there you go yeah no. I could probably use an exhibit or two <laughs> A, flam a flamingo garden or something like that, or a peacock garden. Uh -huh. That'd be nice. No, but seriously, people, please give Mike <laughs> a follow. Check out his video of how he built this. I'm I also already seen it by now when I'm uploading <laughs> this video. But I'm super excited to hear more about like why you did things and how you created it. And I am just super excited for that. So definitely go and check out Mike Sheet his channel. It, it is in the description. I am. Ugh, I just don't know what to say. It's, <laughs> I I am so surprised, so much blown away. It's so gorgeous. I really love it, and it's so in, uh, so inspiring. Like seriously, thank you so much. Excellent. Well, that's that's what I wanted you to feel. <gasps> and then I think you could um, you could do like a little entrance plaza. So I've I've kind of set that area for you on the left hand side when you walk into the zoo. Check. That would be a great place for a row of, of buildings or something like that. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, that's so awesome. I had no idea how to do the entrance part. That's the that's the whole reason why I just started right in the middle of the park because I was like, well, <laughs> you know what? If I have an idea at some point, then I will do. And this is like, oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I, I, I absolutely love it. And that you see the dome from here that you you've paid attention to oh, i i'm just really blown away <laughs> i love it you forgot my favorite detail of the whole thing may i may i say one more one thing sure what does it say malin zoo <laughs> it's basically without the e <laughs> oh no yeah. <laughs> i just noticed <laughs> I didn't know I had no, a, another E in there. It's totally fine. I, I, will, I will fix oh, that. Funny. I will fix that. <laughs> Ma Ma Aelin. Yeah. <laughs> it's Did I spell Malin right on the on the little dome sculpture? That was my favorite little detail of this whole thing. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice that. Now you mentioned that. That's so cool. <sighs> it's actually... Oh, that's so awesome. I thought it was just like knobs like like those round shapes you have with the asian trees and stuff so i didn't realize these were oh. the domes oh my god that's so cool gotcha i love it but you did wrote it down right yeah i figured here, that so. okay good. <laughs> i figured that the dome was like the oldest thing in the zoo and it's like the biggest attraction so it would you people would want to get there the fastest oh yeah definitely <laughs> uh but now they want to go to the japanese macaque first because that's the most beautiful at maelan zoo <laughs> <laughs> We will fix that. We will fix that. <laughs> no, but seriously, Mike, oh, thank funny. you so much. I You are very welcome. Thank you for it. letting me play in here and, oh, I and love uh, it. Just, just work my way around. It's you can't see my face, but I have like a huge smile on my face and like my hands <laughs> in my face, like, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. It's As we started, I was gonna say every time Delady says beautiful, take a shot as like a little drinking oh. game, like don't don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> Everyone. Somebody's gonna don't go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Thank you so much, Mike. And everyone You are very welcome. <sighs> well thank you. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, please go and check out Mike. Give him a sub and, and, and watch his video and watch his other videos because he's he's so inspiring. Definitely go and check him out. And thank you so much for doing this again, Mike. I really appreciate it. I love it so much you are very welcome yeah if you guys like the style of design that we do uh season zoo of bro coaster is gonna be a lot like this oh, i'm super excited for that i really can't wait so yeah thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> please do leave a like at the video if you enjoyed and subscribe of course if you already haven't and don't forget to subscribe to my and i really hope to see you guys in the next one bye guys see you later <laughs>